So in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, the two iconic cast members that have been replaced are Bonnie and Foxy. Whilst Bonnie gets mentioned in the notes and is given the Bonnie Bowl location, Foxy is nowhere to be seen. Foxy was never a part of the Pizzaplex. Or was he? I've got some pretty convincing evidence that Glamrock Foxy was at the Pizzaplex at some point. If not, another animatronic was in its place. This actually came from Ivan35 originally, and along with some others, I joined a call and found something right in front of us this entire time. Is in the poster. Kids go, look at it. It has got like the tunnel and daycare behind it. Let's go down, let's go to the daycare, okay? Like John from FNAF says, need more proof. I love when uh, I love it when he says that. Need more proof? There's other rooms, but I can just show you this one. We can see there is an ocean, beach. We can see it's pretty similar to the theme of of Kids Cove. So as just mentioned, by looking at the Kids Cove poster, we can see that there is a daycare in the background. If we look at the Kids Cove poster, we can see that there's a lot of inaccuracies compared to what it looks like now. Whereas promotional posters for Monty Golf, Roxy Raceway and Fazablast all look pretty much the same as they do now. And there isn't really any features that you pick out and think that it's not in there. However, on the Kids Cove poster, we can see the green hill mounds, we can see the castle walls and we can see, obviously, the play structures. So this is the daycare that we have now in Security Breach. This has to be no coincidence. It's almost like the daycare was a replacement for Kids Cove, since now Kids Cove is out of order and in a completely different location. Why it got moved, I'm not sure. However, it might be due to the fact that there's not an animatronic to serve there. And the room is just as big as locations like Bonnie Bowl, Fazablast, Monty Golf and Roxy Raceway. And so you'd expect a main animatronic to be there. Now this is because Foxy was there. Foxy is said to be a pirate, and, well, this is very sea-themed, if you ask me. It would explain the curtain above the daycare. To access the daycare, we have to flash the pirate animatronics to open a secret cinema poster in the theatre to then get round to the big location in the Pizzaplex, which is the room above the daycare. Because we have to go through so much effort to get to this location, we know it's important. At first, the Balloon World games seem like the biggest part of importance within the room. And then we started to work out who this room could belong to. However, after some further analysis, this could have been a room belonging to Foxy, which would explain why he's the big character on the poster. I'm going to take a link to Roxy here. And within the game, Roxy Raceway holds the final fight and is built over the FNAF 6 Pizzeria. And it's said that Roxy Raceway is closed. However, what if it was never opened in the first place? You see, throughout Security Breach, we get to a point where we have to find a driver assist head, and then it appears to be broken, which means we have to go all the way to the West Arcade. Perhaps this driver assist head was broken because it was never fixed in the first place. Perhaps this place was just getting ready to be opened, and just maybe this is why we can't ride the car alone. Because it has not yet been tested. Not because of our age. I am so sorry, Gregory. It appears you are not tall enough to ride the cart alone. You will need a working driver assist bot in order to use this cart. Oh man, the robot's missing its head! Because you would have thought Gregory, being a child slash teenager, would be able to ride something that is for kids. So... It's a little strange that we can't do that, but maybe the safety precautions haven't been fitted yet and so causes Freddy to kind of protect Gregory from any injury that he may face when riding this for the first time. Now, I mention that because I want to dig into the fact that Roxy Raceway has not been there for long. Instead of it being out of order for falling apart, I think this place is just being built and it's going to be Vanny and the staff bots rebuilding it since there's no other human staff on site. It makes sense as the only area that's run down and out of order is the only area above Afton, making it seem like Vanessa is desperately trying to hide this thing and would explain why we can only get into Roxy Raceway with a higher level security badge. A level that can only be obtained by decommissioning an animatronic before that. 
whether it's Chico or Monty, that is up to the player. Now, because Roxy Raceway is a new place, then surely that means that Roxanne Wolf is a fairly new character. Something happened to Foxy, we don't know what. However, from FNAF 2, we get this voice line. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in Kid's Cove uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Now, the kids love Foxy, and now that something's happened to him, or now that he's gone, maybe he was torn by guests, or by another animatronic, Kids Cove has no meaning anymore, because there's no mascot for that part of the Pizzaplex. So, Fazbear Entertainment react by turning Kids Cove into the daycare, which would make the daycare a new place, explaining why the power generators are still in the play structures. So let's talk about Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon are a very strange character to have in a kid's place such as the daycare. The daycare attendant is seemingly like a caretaker for the building, making sure everything is running as it should be, making sure animatronics are in their recharge stations. I don't think he was supposed to be a main animatronic, more like a night guard, but a robot one, acting in Vanny's defence while she does her deeds for Afton. However, somewhere which more fits the daycare attendant would be the Fazbear Theatre. Now, in performing arts, or any kind of theatre for that matter, you will see these two masks. One's like a happy face and one's like a sad face, and it got me thinking, this is very much like the daycare attendant. However, with Kids Cove out of action and the daycare being put in, they would have to switch over there, so that leaves Fazbear Entertainment to fill in with some random comedy bot that just rolled in. I just rolled in and boy are my wheels tired. Which really puts the explanation behind that joke. Sun and Moon are a very theatrical animatronic, and it would make sense with their acting styles, different personalities, and their ability to just put on a show. Don't you want a puppet show? Now, what happened to the old Kids Cove, I'm not too sure, and we can see it today. There's a mini version now where Kids Cove is, and it's all banned, so... Perhaps that was a small daycare before, and they just rebuilt a little Kids Cove because people liked it or something. However... In summary, I believe that the daycare was once a huge kid's cove, home to Glamrock Foxy. The Fazbear Theatre was previously occupied by Sun and Moon. Roxy Raceway is a brand new place, made to cover up the company's past failures and legacy. And Kid's Cove was built in a smaller version in memory of Glamrock Foxy, much like the location of Bonnie Bowl. So, how did I do? Do you think Glamrock Foxy was in the Pizzaplex? Or do you believe in any of my theory? Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Anyway, if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. I've been Alpine, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace. It's time to take your final bow.